I'm so glad you're joining me today for our 3D Church Online, where we get to dream, discover, and disciple together. Are you ready to kick off our church service? We're going to start with worship because we were made by God, for God, to worship Him. So I'm so glad you're here to join me today. Let's kick off our service with some awesome worship. Whatever the distance or darkness, you're with me, you're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me.
job worshiping this morning you guys have done I'm so proud of you but more importantly our good good father looks down from heaven upon your worshiping faces and is pleased so right now let's encourage ourselves with God's word and speak his word and affirmations over ourselves and our lives it's our sword of the spirit 3d chant time 3d so everybody in neon green, I need you to say those words out loud and start after me. Are y'all ready? All right, 3D, who are we? What do we do? Disciple who? Who are you? What are you? Amen. You all are conquerors in Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us, for all you're doing in and through us. God, you are awesome. All things were created by God, for God, and everything from Him is good. So we are called to go out and to spread the good news gospel message to the ends of the earth. We are called to love others and to share Jesus with them. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, and whether we are giving a tithe, an offering, or giving God our words by telling others about Jesus, His promise says that we will be blessed. Giving a tithe or an offering is a way to not only be obedient to Christ, but to show Him that you trust Him. God's word is true, and it says in Malachi 3, 10 through 11, that we should bring all our tithes into the storehouse, our church. And it promises that the Lord of hosts will open up the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessing, we will not have enough room to store it. Now who wants that kind of blessing? So during this time to focus on missions and our tithes and offering, may we remind ourselves to be on mission for Christ and to always give faithfully to God who first gave unto us. Here at 3D, we have a heart for missions and we share the gospel message. The Israelites once again did not obey God. So God allowed them to be ruled by their enemies, the Midianites. The Midianites were cruel to Israel. They took Israel's food and animals the Israelites remembered how good life was when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to God, save us. The angel of the Lord came and sat under an oak tree. He appeared to a man named Gideon and said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Gideon was afraid. 
His family was the weakest family in his tribe, and he was the youngest son in the family. But the Lord had chosen Gideon to deliver the Israelites from the power of their enemy. The Lord assured Gideon, I will be with you. When the time came to go to battle, Gideon blew a ram's horn. An army of men gathered behind Gideon, ready to fight. Gideon wanted a sign from God. He prayed, I will put fleece on the ground. If the fleece is wet with dew, but the ground is dry, I will believe you will deliver Israel as you say. That is exactly what happened. The fleece was so wet that Gideon squeezed enough water out to fill a bowl. But Gideon asked for another sign. This time, the fleece was dry and the ground was wet. God told Gideon that he had too many people with him. Gideon sent home everyone who was afraid to fight. 10,000 men remained. That's still too many, God said. God made a test for the people. All of them were to go to the river to drink the water. Anyone who knelt to drink water was sent home. But whoever lapped the water with his hand to his mouth stayed. 300 men remained. That night, Israel's armies carried torches, blew their trumpets, and shattered pitchers. They ran toward the camp of Midianites. Gideon and his army chased the Midianites, and they ran away. God gave Israel the victory. The Israelites said, Gideon, you rescued us. Now we want you to be our king. Gideon said, no, God will rule over you. But after Gideon died, the Israelites once again ignored God and forgot about him, who had delivered them from the power of their enemies. The Israelites cried out to God because they knew they could not save themselves. Even Gideon was not enough to save them. God used Gideon to help his people, but God fought the battle for them. The people needed someone who was mighty to save. Jesus Christ came to save us from sin because we cannot save ourselves. Only God, through Christ, can save us. That is a wrap, 3D. Thanks so much for joining me online for our 3D Church. Every week, make sure to go to our website, myfcm.org backslash 3D Kids. Every week, you can stay up to date with our Bible story, our activity pages, our journal pages, so you can be a disciple of Jesus in your home all week long. We hope to see you guys in person, and thanks so much for joining us today online here at 3D. Cause we're stirring up, cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters, we're gonna dance.